God, me, I promise. You go be there, I walk the day. Okay. Today, I'm in a happy mood. So, ow. Oh, <laughs> Yes, Vecina, Missy Medina, I am quite cheerful now. Okay, the new now, Miss Rochelle. Are you the powerful now? The new now, Miss Rochelle. Are you quite cheerful now? Oh, the new now, Miss Rochelle. Oh. Are you diva fool ya? Oh, me new now, me stroke you. Are you quite cheerful ya? Me scroll 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 scroll. Sweaty now watch you me quite. Me die sweaty, me die ma se ma man. Yeah sweaty rina, me see me dinda. Oh, you're quite cheerful, yeah. Let the congregation sing. I'm just happy. And God has done a lot for me. So sometimes I gotta give praise, bro. Because God is good, ladies and gentlemen. God is good. One, two, three. Me neo na wa me so show. Oh, you deep, my foe. No, no, y'all, you be now, now, my Miss. Oh, hey, yes, <sighs> bro. It's crazy, bro. God has done a lot for us. Yes, by a bed dance, a bed sunny. Oh, we have to praise God. What do you say? But yes, what are they come talk about in the day? I don't think God will be happy with that. Yes, and I have to say this this conversation is important to me because I have always had this assertion that the typical Ghanaian eh, they won't see you do good. Like either you won't be on the same level or just be average good. The moment you do better than them, there is a problem. And I would I will stand on this rock till till till. Because, bro, human beings be wicked. The typical Ghanaian never they won't make it. No, bro. They never they won't see you make you like move like, oh yeah, this guy is out there now. Nah. The moment you start go there out there, you start to win, you start to get all the things. Oh, we made you this, bro. You know they, the stories will come, and it is normal. A lot of people have experienced this. Now, this story was shared on Facebook, on um, Jay Quash's page on Facebook. And um, at Aquisi Blakes, um, screenshot it and posted it on Twitter. And it has generated a lot, of, a whole lot of conversations. And it be related to the workplace politics and how some people feel like because you are under them, because they are responsible for, let's say, you're this or that. They are, going, they are going to make sure say, nah, you don't get what you deserve because they feel like from where they stand or from where they sit, they can uh, um, dictate to whoever is employing or whoever is paying you, you know, how much he or she is supposed to pay you. And this story is sad. 
And when this was shared, now in the comment section, a lot of people came with their stories of how Ga some Ghanaian HRs, I'm not going to quantify everything like every HR. I know there are some brilliant HRs out there that are working hard to make sure, say, oh, the people that they have employed or they recruited, you no, know, I mean, their well-being and everything is well taken care of. And there are some, and, and, and there are the sons of Satan and daughters of Satan. Let me read the story. Please pay attention. My reading no good, but you have to stick with me like that. On August 9th, I made this post about Ashesi University and got a couple of messages in my inbox from folks prospecting for what jobs in, in or out of Ghana. Unfortunately, at that time, I didn't have anything to offer anyone. So most of the conversations died a natural death. May their soul rest in perfect peace. One of the folks that reached out had been consistent with his messages, and we connected thereafter beyond Facebook. He quickly enrolled at ALX for a full-stack software engineering program while he waited for a job. This man had been jobless since 2020. Tried Uber until the car owner collected and sold the car early this year. By idea. Coincidentally, the company I was contracting for advertised a customer service role for Kenya and Morocco. In fact, they hired customer support agents from only these two countries in Africa. Those in Morocco and Kenya are paid $1,000 per month. But when my friend applied and they, ha they asked him how much he would take, he mentioned $500 a month. And that was offered him. He started working in October and based on his performance and the convenience and the convenience is working from Ghana gives the company, they added nine more employees from Ghana. So because of, so let me, let me highlight some things here. The company where they talk about, then they, then they um, hire people from these two countries, Kenya and Morocco. By a friend who is from Ghana, and he applied. And when he was asked that how much he would take, he said $500. But because the way your man, they work, and the way your man, they work from Ghana, like they work from home, and the, the, the convenience way his work, they give the company, they decided to add, what, nine more employees from Ghana. So your man really tried. He go tear on her face. They decided to add nine people. You understand? Now, all of whom he recommended, I didn't know any of this until yesterday. As part of the company's policy, every employee after probation must enjoy all benefits, including health insurance, paid holiday, ETC. So to be able to implement that in Ghana, they needed a payroll slash HR company to facilitate and coordinate this for the Ghana-based employees. A Ghanaian company got the contract and sent a new letter offered to those customer support agents. Let me read this. As part of the company's policy, every employee apart oh, as part of uh, the company's policy, every employee after probation must enjoy the benefits, which includes what health insurance, paid holiday, etc. So that so to be able to implement that in Ghana, they needed what an HR company to fa to facilitate and coordinate this for the Ghana-based employees. A Ghanaian company got the contract and sent a new letter a new offer letter to those customer support agents. So in order for them to implement these, you know, enjoyment, where the, the employees were enjoying, they had to um, hire what? Um, an HR company. When they hired them, this, th this HR company sent what? A new offer letter to those customer agents. So what then the people, they, they pay them, let's say the $1,000, thousand dollars or five five hundred dollars you know this be what the people send to them as their new offer company in your you know you have been hired as an um, hr company to facilitate things you no know. they decided to send a new what offer letter now let, let's go guess how much is stated in this new offer from the ghanaian contractor thousand five hundred ghana cities uh so from five hundred dollars to now a thousand five hundred cities so when they when they contracted them as an HR company, you know, instead of you know continuing the five hundred dollars, they decided to what se uh, send them a new offer letter. And on the letter, no, then for what did they pay them? What thousand five hundred Ghana cedis? Young queen. 
When the agents complain, they threaten to fire all of them and hire new people. The new contractor's argument is that customer service job in Ghana doesn't pay more than 2,000 Ghana cities. So the highest they will pay is 2,000 Ghana cities. But then for this amount, they should work for at least three months for them uh, on the 1,500 Ghana cities pay. The contractor also threatens to fire them if they disclose their new pay to anyone. And that is private and confidential. Bro, how can you do this to your people? You are not the one paying, you know. They contracted you to facilitate things. But you, 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 you see what they bought me, you know? You say, what well, customer service people for not take more than, what, 1,500 Ghana cities. The maximum self will be 2,000. But with that, you are supposed to work. Again, after the probation, you are supposed to work for three months before you will figure the 2,000. Meanwhile, the original company, you know, they, they were paying these people, what, $500. When you convert it, that is more than 1,005, right? The company no no do this to the people. Oh. You know the people that can't do this to them, my own people. Ghanaians doing this to Ghanaians. So Ghana on Ghana crime. You see what our people that my mindset. You they feel like, no, bro, you don't deserve that amount of money. And it is not even your money. You are just an HR. But I'm sure you, the company, you, the HR company, you go and argue, say they should increase your salary. They should pay you in dollars. But the customer service uh, person now on what so on all your demand here, he doesn't deserve it. Do you know what is happening? Bro, that is, bro, what are people? It's be your own people, though. Let me continue. The funny thing here is that those in Morocco and Kenya, despite their higher salaries, are being paid exactly the same amount when they move to a contractor after their three months probation. They get exactly $1,000 per month, not less. So the people from Kenya and Morocco know, you see, say, them, they are dealing with a different contractor. And the contractor has maintained a thousand dollars. Once the some legends for here. Yeah. I could propose it thousand five hundred Ghana cities. How we go for build country with this kind of mindset, with this kind of people? The Moroccans and the Kenyans, they are dealing with a different contractor who is not a Ghanaian. And their salary structure is the thousand dollars. Squad. Thousand five. Okay, now the Ghanaian workers reach out to me to speak with the VP of the operation and head of customer experience from them. Um, and now the Ghanaian workers reach out to me to speak with the VP of operations and head of customer experience for them. I don't know if I should get involved, but I'm still wondering why the new Ghanaian contractor would do this to fellow Ghanaians. I'm co completely lost and I need your opinions on how best to go about it. After politicians and some women, hey, what women do you? I trust story nice, nice. I say women, they come inside. Take a good time out, out of your 24 hours to fear fellow Ghanaians standing in for your opportunities. They will take advantage of you. Fear HR companies in Ghana. So when I come and sit here and I tell you, say, bro, they don't love you like that too. They don't want to see you win. Because how you go fit conspire, how you go fit come up, how you go fit do this to your own people? How? And this is not this is not synonymous to only a you HR company. So this is not HR HR people specifically. This is Ghanaian. This is a Ghanaian thing. There, there was a time where they be like they say my name popped up in a conversation somewhere about influencer gig or something. Of course, I have the numbers. I go to convert the the. It, I will be convert to lease for you and things. I was qualified to, you know, be signed as an influencer or an ambassador of things. One person, the way he did on that thing, they talk, say, he and me have argument on Twitter or something. So, you know, we'll give me the, give me the gig. <laughs> yeah. Well, they gave me the gig, though, by me, because I had people on their way, then they like my matter, too. They gave me. But then one person called me and was like, so this is what happened. And I was like, yeah, you say that you have some uh, you know you have some exchanges on I think Twitter, and he's angry, so he's not going to let them give you the gig. You see, the gatekeepers, the people who are in the room, you see what they are doing. Me say the typical, even if you have not done anything to them, no, bro, because in this case, these people have not done anything. They were supposed to pay thousand dollars after the probation. They brought in the, the HR company on contract, said, be, be, before we go to do this, we need your help. 
the HR of uh, the HR company issued a new offer letter, and in the letter, no, the price they are offering to the uh, the customer care agents, no, it was thousand five hundred when the company was paying them five hundred dollars and thousand dollars. So the right, the more if you so that if I, it doesn't make sense to me. This is pure wickedness. Pure wickedness. And it happens in companies a lot. Even social media, uh, this social media influencer gig, the agencies, they go, oh, could you show them these are his numbers? This is what he can do. Um, give us, let's say ten thousand dollars. We will Talk to Kojo Shorty, Kojo Shorty will do this and this and that for you. They will come and give you $500 and take the rest. It happens. It happens. And I've experienced it before. Where I got like direct contact with the brands and they told me how much they paid the agency and how much they, I saw what they, uh, the amount of when the agency paid me and I was like, ah, no man will buy that man. Huh? You feel me? It happens, bro. The, the typical Ghanaian is always trying to take advantage of the other. Typical. Like that is how we are. I'm not exempting myself from inside. But with this kind of mindset, we are not going anywhere. I swear to God, bro. Because if you don't make your your your, your friend, your colleague could go forward. You know if you know if you could go rich wherever you want to go. And we as they share this, a lot of people have come in the comment section talking about how people stepped on their opportunities. Like they were supposed to have this, and this one came, came in. Even, even, even in the churches, it happens. Somebody did a church and said, it won't help you. Oh, not deacon about, oh boy, remember, don't forget this guy. It happens. If we don't deconstruct this kind of mindset, we would we, we would deal where we deal like that. How do you let, let, let me convert thousand? Wait, are they come? I have to convert this thing. Five hundred dollars. Excuse me, I'm coming. I have to understand. Five hundred dollars to Ghana cities. That is six thousand, almost seven thousand. Six thousand four hundred eighty-six thousand Ghana cities. That's three pesos. And so, if they were taking thousand Ghana cities out. So they, they were done with the probation, so they were supposed to enroll on the thousand Ghana cities salary. So thousand Ghana cities, thousand dollars to Ghana cities. Hey, Mrs. Magota has ten thousand dollars. Bro, but I'm not much here. I'm not here. You know, you be, you be. Twelve thousand. That is almost thirteen thousand. Now, bro, we be wicked people. Hey, bro, we be wicked. But anyway, you don't be anything. It really don't be anything. Let's move on. Because, nah, bro, come on. And you know what they pay me? It's not even your money. Company, any money, you know, so they pay you $1,000. But no, I said, nah, customer service people for their seven, their thousand five, new two thousand. Anyway, so let me know what you think. Have you experienced something like this before? Because as I said, this has generated a lot of conversation on Twitter with people blaming HR. But then, mind you, there are HRs too. There are some HRs out there where they be amazing. I've, I've come across with some like that. They they make sure say they take care of their people. They make sure say they represent the interest of their people. They make sure say their people know they they you know like they are paid well. They are taken care of. You understand? And we have the descendants of. Satan. Anyway, my name is Kojo Shardy. My name is Albert. Uh, this video is brought to you by what? Pile leaf tablet, ne pile leaf ointment. So my catch them say Koku. Eh, what who name ni? Eh, so what who name ni? Koku pals. We day your body in, in outside. We sense so day inside. Pile leaf ointment, ne pile leaf tablet is there for you. A bit ego come on, bro. A bit twice here, and that is why it is important. Say we be nya. Pylip tablet. Pylip tablet you know, is effective for the treatment and management of piles, both internally and externally. And your pylip ointment, which is also very strong and effective in the treatment of external piles. And I almost sounds so what BC56 cream, a crook, a cred that who says so, bro, it'd be crazy. So a crook will hold no more, Charlie. It'd be how did this? I don't go fit.
talk about that. But yes, uh, so if uh, it is effective for the treatment of wound, slow healing wounds, cuts, and superficial uh, tropical wounds. In you know uh, uh, BC 56 uh, cream, maybe not all the assassins, what they are saying. Um, in Noya Mibu Boys, it is distributed by Kelmet Pharmaceuticals, available at the nearest pharmacy uh, shop near you. For bulk pages, no number, no numbers in the whole screen. Call them right now. Pile leaf tablet, pile leaf ointment, and yes, and our B656 cream, and a crew. It took crew, and I say, with the stress, stress, so now, me and crew, we now, they are stress, stress, so, oh, pack, 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 me and crew, and you, Maria, say. My name is Kujishel, the CEO on the flip side of things. I'm out.